Next, we'll define a vector function in Mathematica. To define a function in Mathematica, go to the Advanced tab, click on Define Function, and we want this function to be r of t. And for the expression here, remember that vectors are entered in Mathematica with curly brackets. So this is going to be t minus 3 halves times sine of t. And in the second component, we need 1 minus 3 halves times cosine of t. Shift Enter. Let's make sure that Mathematica interpreted our command correctly. We could try r evaluated at 0. Shift Enter. And that did indeed give us the correct answer. OK. Next, let's define the function given by s. We'll go in to define function. We'll name this function s. And this is, again, a vector function. In the first component, it's 1 over the cube root of t. You can copy paste that, or you can go to the Advanced tab and click on the fraction, and then the cube root, and type that in. Second component will be negative 2t. Shift Enter. Let's just make sure the computer understood us. Uh, we don't want to evaluate s of 0 because that would be undefined, but we could try s of 1, for example. And that gave us the correct answer. That confirms that Mathematica has understood what we meant. Next, let's use Mathematica to find the derivative and the integral of vector functions. Notice that r and s are the same functions we've already defined. So to find the derivative, since we already have our function r defined, we can just type r prime of t, shift enter. And that's exactly what we would expect. Similarly, to find the integral, we can go to the Advanced tab, click on the integral. Our lower limit is 1, upper limit is 3. We want to integrate the function s of t with respect to the variable t. And again, that's exactly what we would expect if we did it by hand.